Mike on the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also WrestlingObserver.com. So uh, I was talking about that John Cena story. Uh, they, Dave Rohde's going to be looking to try to make it to WrestleMania this year. And I couldn't help but remember something people have been talking about, which was a tweet by Rob Fee. You guys know who that is? That is the guy that was hired as the WWE Director of Long-Term Creative. And uh, I would like to preface this by saying that I don't know what all he's doing, but I do think that the storytelling has been much better in WWE of late. I mean, there's stuff that, I mean, don't get me wrong, as I'll get to in a moment. This uh, this Miz Loomis ladder match sucked. Yeah, I went back and watched it, and I'm so sick of this story. But you know what? It's a story with this, so far it's had like a beginning, middle, and an end, which we never had with Vince. And all of these stories are having beginnings and middles and, and endings. So, you know, thumbs up to the guy for that. However, he tweeted the other day, Man, I still can't believe I work at WWE. Never had so much fun. The talent top to bottom in the company is second to none. Plus, there is nothing better than seeing how wrong the dirt sheets are all the time. And he put a, a crying smile. Now listen, okay? You know this guy reminds me of? Edris Anofe. He's he's working the marks is what he's doing here. He's trolling you guys. That's what's happening here. But with that said, I'm going to play along a little bit. I'm going to ask old Rob Fee. You better not be talking about me, brother. You better not be talking about me. Who's the guy, speaking of John Cena, who first reported that John Cena was not going to be at WrestleMania this year because he was filming a movie in Vancouver? Huh? Who was it? Me. Ah. Who was the first guy that reported that Becky Lynch separated her shoulder? Huh? Who? Me. That's who it was. Who was the first guy who said, you know what would be a horrible idea? Dexter Lumis and the Miz in a ladder match. Oh, was I wrong about that one too? Nope, I was right. So, I want you guys to find one, one Example of where I reported news about WWE over the last year and I was wrong. Now, I'm going to wait here during the show. All right? Do you really believe that you're giving people ample time to go back through of course. shows? It should be obvious. According to Rob Fee here. You do like two shows a day. How many Who's shows the guy who reported that thought? Regal was on his way back to WWE? Huh? Me. And here he goes. Well... Rob better not try and go troll to troll with me. Uh, well, That'd be a bad true. idea, brother. You are a king of trolls. That is absolutely the case. That's right. That's right. Well, are there people that still actually believe uh, Edris has got that chest tattoo? A lot of them. Well. And hey, you know what? You never know. But as I mentioned on the Brian Vinny show last night, the NXT show this week was a taped show. NXT show next week is a taped show. NXT is going to return live the first week of January, I believe. And uh, y'all get back to me when Edris Anofe shows up with a WWE logo tattooed on his chest. Stencil on Bro, have you guys there. seen Edris Anofe? You think that guy's going to tattoo anything on that chest? Come on. Uh, he may tattoo something get on that chest, here. but I don't think he's foolish enough to tattoo a big WWE logo on his chest. But you know what? Look, if he got the other peck done and he figured he'd have some fun and did a stencil or gets a temporary tattoo, if it works in this day and age, if you're able to do something online that will put your yourself out there without embarrassing the company, in fact, if anything, it would be embarrassing himself. That's what a lot of people who have taken this and ran with it are saying. Oh, my God, what happens if he quits? What an idiot. What a mark. What a... You know, hey. but he's using that to his advantage. So he's playing the fool in this to get attention for himself. And that's, look, it doesn't hurt. This isn't going to hurt anybody. So it works for me, and it's fine. Guys, I love you all in the chat. I've missed you a lot. I even went in on the airplane yesterday, and I went into that chat for about a half hour. That's how much I missed everybody. But, bros, I'm joking about him not getting a tattoo on his chest. That's not why I'm saying he didn't get a tattoo. I'm saying he didn't get a real WWE tattoo because I don't think he got a real tattoo. Well, it's like and if you're asking why, here. the answer is all people have been talking about for a week 
is Edra Sanofe. That's it, DJ. Because he got a I'm, fake I'm, tattoo of the uh, WWE logo on his chest. And that's the thing. And I know, look, and DJ is like, what's what would be the punchline? And you're right. I can see for, look, I'm not saying There's that. There's no punchline. He's getting attention for well, himself. That's the, that's the whole thing. I don't think it's a highly intelligent way to, to go about doing things. But I'm also an old man who doesn't know how to manipulate social media. And obviously, it's working for him. And, and again, he's gotten a bunch of attention for it. Does this help the team? Maybe it does. You know, this is a way where he's putting himself out there. He's garnering attention. It's not hurting the company at all. So he may get a little bit of a reward for this. I mean, they're about to be. They probably should be pushed in NXT as a tag team harder anyway. You know, you went through the thing about the, the sweaters getting torn up and all that sort of stuff. They've got a lot more experience under their belt now. Go ahead and let's actually give them an extended run here. Maybe, look, if Briggs and Jensen can get one for so long, I mean, I think it's time for these two maybe to actually be locked into a real feud with another team. I don't know. Pretty Deadly would be a good one. Granny, let's do the wrestling report. What do you got today? Put your laughing gear on. <laughs> My laughing gear. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, wrestle load? <laughs> and Brian Hawks. I, I don't. That's what Vinny got paid after his show? I don't. I don't know what wrestle load is. <laughs> oh wait a minute! It's wrestle cade. Oh, oh well, that good. makes more sense. Where Brian go? <laughs> he's recuperating. He's he's broken. You broke him, Granny. <laughs> Sheesh. I have never. I have. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.